Good afternoon, YouTube. This morning is not the morning anymore. It is the afternoon. Did a bunch of stuff this morning, and by stuff, I don't mean drugs, I mean work. So I took a nap with the dog. That's what dogs are for. They're for taking naps. This dog is for taking a nap with. He's exhausted too. I walked him further than usual. He also pooped all over my hands. Leaving because I'm talking. He's camera shy. I'm going to go out to the garage and do some more stuff. And by stuff, I don't mean drugs today. I mean like a workout. I'm just really tired. Even though I took a bunch of drugs this morning. And by drugs, I don't mean drugs. I mean I did a lot of work. Ah! Pleasant surprise. This is the first workout that I feel like I want to throw up since I was like 17 years old. That was the last time I felt this feeling. I almost threw up on that last set. I don't even know what's wrong with me. I just feel like I can't breathe. It's like really hot. It's like 100 degrees outside, it's humid and stuff. And it's just, it's getting to me today. It's just getting to me. I'm doing a box squat with a light band right there attached. Uh, to help on the descent, obviously the log, uh, the log weighs 65 pounds, it's a little more awkward than normal board, well, I don't know, I'm just having trouble with it today, but I'm done with it. The next two exercises I'm going to do, hyper extensions and maybe glute ham raises, and at the end of the workout deadlifts on my half finished platform, I'm going to put my logo on this pretty soon but it is gonna be on another piece laying on top. So this is the first workout I'm actually gonna to have to use this thing so far, and it doesn't matter that I'm getting it all scruffy and dirty on this workout because I'm just gonna be laying new, another layer of mat and plywood on top anyway. So. Do I have a routine? Do I have a workout routine or a program? Fuck no, I don't. I don't, I just do shit. <laughs>
enough of this shit. Enough of this, enough, enough. Let's go for a walk. <sighs> so a lot of people ask me what my workout routine is, what's my program, you know, what's my split. Look, I don't have a routine, a training cycle or anything. Look, that stuff is for people with really predictive athletic goals, like a powerlifter who just wants to increase his totals, or a bodybuilder who just wants to step on stage, or a guy who just wants to like fucking catch a football or something, you know? My goals aren't that fucking predictable. I, I mean, I do the splits, um, a bodybuild, I'm interested in powerlifting and stuff. So for what I do, it's impossible to write really any sort of you know, program that's going <laughs> to actually benefit anyone but myself. And if I write it down, what is it going to do for me? I haven't had a workout routine or a program since 2004. It's been a very long time. Everything has been instinctive. Everything has been on a day-by-day uh, -day basis. But what I can tell you is that I have habits and patterns. I don't have a routine or a program. I have it, habits and patterns. Ha rabbits. I want rabbits. Give me a rabbit. Tom, put a rabbit on the screen for me. Techniques. You know, I have uh, order I do things in. I have rules I go by. Guidelines. So, for example, if I trick on Monday, I might not be doing this type of workout, you know, the day before it. Okay, because this is, I don't know what the fuck this was. I just felt like doing it. A lot of the stuff I do is just stuff I feel like doing. So a lot of people might think that I don't have uh, self-discipline because I don't follow a, a, a routine or a program of some sort. <laughs> That's absolutely wrong. In fact, how the hell can I follow one when I travel like three or four days out of every week. It's, there's certain things that I'm gonna make time for when I travel, but look, it's really easy if all you do is sit at your house and you do the same route day in and day out, year after year after year. Sure, you can follow a routine or a program in that point, but for me, I travel too much. I get disrupted, so I have to hold on to my habits and my patterns in order to stay sane. Put in the comments below, you know, if I'm full of shit, if you agree with me, what your experiences are, I'm kind of curious how many of you guys actually like follow like a program 12 weeks these three workouts a week these sets and reps or how many of you guys think that's bullshit like i do and those are more like guidelines just to keep people on track to give them a kind of idea that the precise number doesn't matter so much i think they're more along the lines of guidelines and they're for more along the lines of people with they're more for people with predictable athletic goals my tone isn't really as happy and humorous right now because i'm I have a really big headache from that workout, so I'm sort of like, ah. Got a clothesline. Yeah, got a bug zapper. See my bug zapper? That's my bug zapper. Before I go, all the sweating you see me do, I'm gonna put a little product plug in this video. You see this? It's called Acrolyte. It is my worst selling supplement on Acrobox.com, but one of my favorite supplements. All it is is very affordable electrolytes. So for example, if you need to replenish your electrolytes if you're sweating a lot during workout and don't want to take a sugary drink like coconut water or Gatorade, you just pop some of these pills every 20 minutes and you'll feel just fucking dandy. And that's what I'm going to be doing right here for a second. Because I'm fucking stupid and you get a little smarter. Fucking stupid for paying the premium price of smart water. Some new supplements that have just been shipped to my PMB. If you guys want to send me gifts to my PMB, the address is right below. I might feature it in a future video in mail time. First things first, going to this Heritage Printing to get my logo printed on my deadlifting platform. Because I decided to get it done professionally. By the way, I'm paying attention to the mileage and I'm sticking it in my mileage app because this is all tax deductible. Next up is Carolina Fitness Equipment because, because I'm in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. And I want a trap deadlift bar and so does Sam. Oh, Sam. String core hex trap bar and some gym chalk. It's a pretty good price for a trap deadlift bar, isn't it? They paid this time and they can get it for free. But that's also a tax write-off. Next errand, here we go. I have no gas. Don't forget to 
return your car. It's a jackass move if you don't. One time I left my car keys in the shower. It took me a couple hours to find them. I'm sort of worried about Scotty. He hasn't been controlling his bladder very well lately. He's also probably really hungry. Let's go check on this guy. I see you've been doing nothing. Nothing. You've accomplished absolutely nothing. This is what they do. You stroke them. Stroking the Greyhound. He perpetually looks upset. Dog food. Mercury free tuna. Sardine oil. Do you want dinner? Come here. Come here. Look. It's going to be tasty. Come here, buddy. Come here. Get you water, too. Come here. Greyhounds are skittish. Infinitely skittish. I have never harmed this dog. He's been like this for three months. Sardines. Dinner. Okay, so I'm gonna make a protein shake. This protein powder. Cashew milk? Heavy whipping cream and banana and uh, this is Prohydrolase. It's a digestive enzyme for protein. But you're probably wondering about this. Why am I eating cashew milk? We bought it because it was a joke. I don't even know what it tastes like. It just tastes like salty almond milk. And it tastes like chocolate air. A chocolate rain. Yeah, I don't really have a diet routine either or a program. I just make sure that I eat uh, mainly healthy foods. And it's sort of an instinctive eating the way I do it. Look, I've been eating healthy for like 17 years now. Um, I focus more on the foods I eat, not the amounts. As you saw, I fucking eyeballed that and it all balances out in the end. I just sort of listen to my body. And a lot of people just think they can outsmart it with math. Look, unless you're like pre-contest dieting, you don't need to do that. Focus on the foods you're eating. You know, like freaking sardines and kale and sweet potatoes. It's my secret to success is fucking cashew milk. A lot of bodybuilders will have like their favorite foods. Like for example, I knew one growing up who kept putting peaches in his protein shake. Frozen peaches. The guy was obsessed with peaches. And I asked him, I was like, why do you eat peaches? And he was a smart guy. You know what he said? He said this. He said, you know, I wish I could tell you about some sort of enzyme in peaches that, you know, burned fat or, you know, helped build muscle. But I just like peaches. Fucking boss. He just liked fucking peaches. Gonna eat a lot of peaches. <laughs> Look. Here's another thing about instinctive eating. Um, some of the best diet advice I've gotten was from this uh, article I read online or whatever, and it was, anytime you're trying to lose weight, build something. Because you're gonna be too preoccupied with your building project to even worry about eating. And that's kind of the way I live my life. I'm more of an ectomorph, and I take after my dad, and both he and I, we really like to just work on shit. Just, you know, run errands, build things, just do things, you know, just do stuff. Let's do stuff. And if you're focused on doing stuff, food is more of an afterthought. Um, for bodybuilding and gaining weight and muscle, you know, you gotta sort of put it in the forethought. And I've trained myself to do that as well, but my default is to do things. Like walk this animal. Default is to do things, to work on things, to you know, walk the dog. Um, the more you do, the better your eating is going to be because activity stimulates appetite in a way where you're more likely to choose something healthy. I know that sounds like bullshit because you can think of a lot of examples of people that are very active but eat crap, but really exercise is sort of a great way to calibrate your appetite towards healthy things. Wait a second, if you're hungry, the hungrier you are, the better it's going to taste. The same with water. The thirstier you are, you're gonna be able to drink water without wanting any flavor in it or something, okay? So the next step to becoming the perfect human is to drink beer with some coffee and an ephedrine and an aspirin because 
I want to be fucking perfect. Putting this beer with a pair of fucking pliers. Coffee and ephedrine aspirin. Because I don't give a fuck. It's dry. It's drier than me. Text trap. All right, trap bar is pretty fucking awesome. Why did I get a trap deadlift bar? Because I like how it has more leg drive than a normal deadlift, and I really like this low one. It's pretty low. Um, this trap deadlift bar is pretty fucking low to the ground, and it was affordable too. What do we have here? Uh, you guys aren't supposed to see those. We don't have those anymore. They don't exist. Check this out. <sighs> Creatine. I'm selling creatine now. <laughs> no, really, it's just creatine bar to hydrate and it's just creatine flavor. All right, I've been taking creatine since I was like 15 years old and never stopped. It's just a fucking good supplement. Look on the product page, it's affordable. Now, if you're ordering any other acrobolic supplement, you can throw creatine in and save on shipping. More creatine, creatine. Greens powder, more of this hydro pump stuff. Fucking product plug right here. The whole point of my product line is I don't make anything I don't take myself. Tom showed me how to use it. He's such a cool guy. It's looking like a storefront. Yes! Have you seen my new product? You use creatine? What? Yeah. Yeah? You have? Oh, Sam. Now we got a fuckload of it because I make it now. But I'm supposed to have it here in display. Oh, because so it looks cool. Why Cash. would I want random people in here? What is it, John? It's just creatine. What the fuck do these people want? Sam, you've used creatine before, haven't you? Yes, John. Now I can use it forever. Oh, Sam. I need to start selling cream of rice, too. Shit. I'm giving them a lot of free fucking marketing. How long have you been doing this today? Nine hours. Cream of rice today. How much is a bowl of cream of rice? How many boxes do you go in through a day? A third of the box or half of it is about how much they use. It's like fucking 100 carbs or some shit. Do you mix them? Do you mix the cream no, of rice God, and the glyco pump? That would be fucking you get super no, glyco no, no, no. pump? That would be fucking But you like fucking disgusting stuff. It's That's what you do. <laughs> You're excessive. Sam. Does anything about this say modest? Damn! No, I guess not. Says, but. So what are you going to do with your hair tonight? Wash it? It's fucking disgusting. How was your day anyway? Who wants to talk about my day? Who needs to know what I do? Why? Because I am Mrs. Mufu and Mrs. Mufu gets to make the calls. Are you going to Are you gonna fill in some, like quick cement? Holes. Oh, those. A nice call up and get onto this counter and shit all over it. Caught one this morning, goddammit. That's great. We're in the fucking woods. I hope you enjoyed following me around today. This is sort of what I do. More traveling coming up pretty soon, but I'm going to enjoy a week home doing this shit for the next few vlog videos. So. This shit being OCD storefront product yeah. placement. Yeah, that's right. All right, get your ass to bed. You're delirious.